Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing an optical drive in a PowerMac G4 Quicksilver model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our PowerMac G4 on a static-free workspace. We are now ready to begin. Our first step is to open the machine. To do so, lift up on the handle on the side and lower the door. The optical drive is located here, inside the drive carrier. Before we remove the optical drive carrier, we will first need to unplug the data cable by pulling it straight out of the rear of the optical drive. Now unplug the power cable by pulling it straight out as well. Using your Phillips screwdriver, you will need to remove four screws, the first of which is located in the back and can be hard to reach. Now remove the Phillips screws here as well as the one underneath the drive and the one in the front of the drive carrier. Once all four Phillips screws have been removed, slide the drive carrier back and out of the Macintosh. With the optical drive carrier removed from the Macintosh, we have to remove these four Phillips screws, which are holding the old optical drive in place. Now push the optical drive out of the drive carrier and set the old drive aside. Before we can install the new optical drive, please note that with some drives you may have to remove the front bezel from the new drive. In this case, the bezel can be left on. If you do need to remove the front bezel, we have online video tutorials on how to do so at www.maxsales.com. We need to set the jumpers on the new drive to master. Please refer to the schematic on your drive for correct pin placement. Now slide the new optical drive into the drive carrier so that all the holes line up correctly. Now install the four Phillips screws to secure the optical drive in place. Because the new optical drive is actually shorter than our original, we will need to flatten out our power connector wires to be able to reach the new optical drive's plug. Connect the power cable before you slide the drive carrier in place. Set the drive carrier in place and connect the data connector. And finally, replace the four Phillips screws we removed earlier when we removed the drive carrier. To close the PowerMac G4, Lift the side panel until it locks into place.